nice and calm by the looks of it. So today is day six and we are gonna start with rinse down again. You guys remember yesterday the day five that I rinsed the whole boat with my colleague and it's salty again surprisingly. Well not surprisingly. So I'm gonna rinse that again and then we move on to the next one. Just a quick 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 tip for you guys that start out in uh, yachting this hose before you open the tap stretch it out as far as you can if you can extend it fully i can't but uh, i'll stretch that last piece out as well just to uncoil it because if you leave it like that that's going to scratch the paint and shave through the paint and get onto the fairly uh, not the fairly the uh, fairing which is underneath the paint and you don't want to do that that's just damaging the boat and like this this is exactly what I'm talking about so you don't want that so stretch out the hose completely uncoil it so it doesn't bundle up and shave against the paint and always remember before you open the main tap to close this hose because the pressure that comes through here will knock the hose against the paint and you don't want that either I've opened up the main tap and this is all the air that's going to come out and this usually knocks the hose against the pipe and that's why we close this first Now we're ready to rock and roll. the deck here which is that always make sure you dry it properly because if you I hope you can see on the camera if, if you don't dry the decades then it's gonna leave marks and spots which you need to polish out which is a lot of work and it takes time if you can see that spot next to the light that is from water that's not been dried okay so the water is really hard uh, it's not completely fresh fresh pure water it's hard water and that's why it leaves marks like that and we don't want that so whenever you rinse the deck give it a good dry with the blade and the chamois the perfect example why we rinse every day and if you skip a day or two this is what happens and this is what you do not want to happen see this this is salt this gets hard as a rock when the sun gets out and it bakes on it so 
you don't want this. This is exactly what I was talking about. Look. Salt, salt, salt. And this is all salt. So please avoid this because you are gonna cry if you have to clean this. I'm gonna cry now because we just left this for two days. Now I have to wash this whole side. Whenever you want to get soap or salt off properly, it's best to run the water just over the paint like this. No beam, just run it. You saw earlier, I used the beam to spray the deckheads, and that's just to wet the boat or the deckhead. But this is a proper way of rinsing the salt off. Just let it run over. Or if you did a wash down, you do the same. Just run it over the paint to get it off properly. If you spray it, it's not going to rinse it properly. In order to get to that little spot where the window is, we can't go overboard or a lot on the harness which you attach there so I'm just going to use the beam to spray as far as I can to get some salt water off and that's probably the safest if you're underway remember to coil your hose after you used it we are four deck, deck crew and uh, we all do it the same so it doesn't go the other way around or the twisted or whatever you'll see it will fall into place easily because we all do it the same so start with that in I usually put my foot here so the hose doesn't go all over and as you lay it down there you twist it so you twist put my foot on it put it down twist it you see how neatly it falls into place no struggle no nothing and always go clockwise otherwise there's trouble <laughs> That's it guys, thank you for watching, please check out my next episode, uh, I think it's going to be an interesting one, I have a good feeling it's going to be an interesting one, so uh, keep an eye.